Hey everyone, Windows 8 is quickly hurtling toward us, so let's play with the Windows 8 release preview. I've got it installed on my laptop here. This is a Toshiba 2008 vintage Pentium. Uh, what is that? Pentium dual core, dual core 1, 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, 250 gig hard drive. So here we have Windows starting up. Where did the fish go? I miss the fish. I'm gonna start a Twitter campaign to bring the fish back. Uh, here once again is the big, bold, beautiful uh, start screen. Or uh, not the start screen, but the login screen. Well, I'm gonna swipe it up because it's a touch screen. And then I'm gonna log in. So let's see here. Typing with one hand. Takes us to the front screen, the start screen. These tiles, which we've seen before now, if you've been checking out the previous versions of the Windows 8 previews, this is the third version. So they keep polishing the apps. And so these are the built-in apps right here. There's mail, people, messaging, Xbox Live. There's this cool new travel app that they've added. Let's check that one out. Once again, it fills the screen, app preview. And uh, this is basically um, an app about the cities of the world. Here we are talking about Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Bing Travel. So we can swipe across to move around. Featured destinations, lots of big, cool pictures, uh, articles, that sort of thing. I can right-click and it'll bring up this menu on top, which eventually I'll use hand gestures. Uh, so let's say uh, best of the web, Photopedia, Trover, Panorimo, etc. So I'm going to go back home. I can either uh, put my finger there and goes back home to the start. Or I'll show you another way in a moment. Um, as I mentioned before, we can click on the desktop and that'll load up a more familiar type of environment like the classic desktop so I can go to the Explorer and here's the library where I can go to my documents and all of that stuff I don't really have anything yet Log into the home group, the network, etc. Go to view my computer, and here's what I've got so far. I installed Windows basically on the hard drive completely, so there's nothing there except Windows. So here it is, basic installation. I think I've got a couple of apps installed, which shouldn't really take up that much space. 16 gigabytes used. This top menu is now standard, where you can view... This is the ribbon, so if you're used to this in the latest versions of Office, it should look familiar. You can quickly turn and turn on and turn off things like file extensions, show them or not, hide selected files quickly. That's pretty cool. Look at other options. show hidden items pretty convenient quick way to change your icon view interesting huh it also gives you a little preview put your mouse on it for a moment that's how it's going to look before you click it before you decide to yeah I like that view you can share stuff burn to disk etc and home options these are context sensitive, so when you select something, it changes based on what you've selected. So I'm going to go back to the Metro interface. Let's see what else can we play with. 
Notice how all of these tire tiles are flipping around. These are the live tiles. Different things happen automatically that's supposed to keep you updated with everything that's going on. So here we look at the, um, the finance app. I'm swiping across. One long strip of content, or I can do a right click and kind of jump to my different view. So here's the watch list of stocks. Good old Facebook stock dropping like a stone. Let's go back to the start. The App Store, or the Microsoft Store, or the Windows Store, whatever they're going to call it. Here you'll be able to get apps quickly from your, the, from your computer. So let's see what we've got for new releases. Lots of stuff. I think more and more people are starting to, to use, to develop apps uh, for the new Windows, so it makes sense that there's more and more apps for it. Here's Internet Explorer. Um, it's going to be pretty interesting to use Internet Explorer 10, where it's full screen like this, and touch interface, so I'm going to be touching this, pressing that, doing whatever. Uh, I need to go to a new address so I can basically open up the address bar and now they've moved it to the bottom this time and here's the most frequently used uh, locations and that sort of thing. These are new apps that I've installed from the App Store, third-party apps. Let's check out this cool painting one. If you've seen the evolution of the of the previews, you've seen apps being added, apps being removed. But um, this one, let's see, what can we do? Let's let's do some painting here. Let's go ahead and draw a wolf. So I guess I can I can draw. And so I urge you, try it out yourself. Get a copy of the developer preview. I'm sorry, the uh, release preview. I'm still, I'm still thinking of the developer preview from a few months ago. But you want to get the uh, release preview. This is this will be one of the last, uh, perhaps one of the last releases before they go with the official version of Windows 8. So I urge you to check it out yourself. It's pretty easy to do. You just go to the Microsoft site and download download the disk, install it. If you've got a spare computer laying around, if you're really high tech, you can dual boot and uh, give Windows 8 a try. So I'm going to sign out. then wrap it up. So thanks for watching. Try out Windows 8 for yourself. And one day you'll have this operating system on all your devices.